Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a couple minutes um, and explain to you how the second and third axis works on your bow sight. I know there's a ton of videos out there representing this, but I just want to go ahead and, and show you guys you know, our, our way of doing it. Uh, Picture here is a 2017 Expedition Explorer SS in a snow camel. Uh, we're working on a, on a tech um, hybrid made by CBE. You don't need all this high-tech equipment to check uh, the level of your riser and on your bow sight. At home, if you don't have the, uh, this equipment, such as the HTM block and this uh, riser level, you can take any construction level. Uh, this is like a two foot, and basically what you have to do is attach it to both limbs just like this, or you can use a door jam, granted that your door jam is level. So what we'll do is make sure that your riser is perfectly level, okay? So everything's good. And then in relation to the riser, how plumb the riser is, a lot of times when you mount your sight, you'll notice that the, the bubble is off a little bit. Hope you guys can see that. Um, so what your second axis is, your second axis is how your sight moves this way, up and down. See how that bubble changes? All right, so the riser is straight, but the second axis is off. So what we want for straight level ground shooting is a plumb riser and a plumb sight level. So your riser's plumb and your sight's plumb. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten these screws down. Alright, just double check that once you get done tightening, because sometimes you tighten it up and the sight housing has a tendency to move. Alright, so plumb riser. Now your third axis is how your sight level is if you're angled down or up. So we are going to angle the bow down, and you can see, Mark, can you zoom in on this please? You'll see that although the bow riser is perfectly plumb with the ground, that level is off. So the sight housing, the sight housing needs to be moved like this. Instead of this is your second, this is your third axis, such as uphill shooting and downhill shooting. So we're gonna just angle this bow down as if we were shooting out of a tree stand. And believe it or not, this could actually throw, throw your shot off uh, a significant amount. Um, if you're if you watch your bubbles all the time when you're shooting like we do You'll notice that if your bubbles off and your shot that your arrow is impacting left or right of the target Perfect so as you can see there the bubble bubbles level as we rotate up that bubble stays right in its place. All right. So we got a plumb bow riser and we got a plumb level all the way down. Like as if you're shooting at a 3D competition or out of a tree stand or uphill in the backcountry, that bone and sight is always plumbed to each other. And especially, this is most important if you have a, an adjustable sight like this because you're going to be moving this up and down a lot. So you want every, everything level with, with each other so it doesn't throw off your shot. All right, for, to find out the best way to do it is look up your owner's manual for your site, find out where the second and third axis adjustment screws are, and you can go ahead and do this right in your own home. Thanks for watching.